is the one quarter T handle included with the spare parts kit. We use this for the cabinet bolts that secure the play field to the base. Remove the four base cabinet bolts. Slowly lift the play field from the base. Have a second person hold the play field or rest the play field on support to continue to disconnect. Home units that do not have the coin door option must always be set to free play. Free play is easily confirmed by the flashing FP in the credits display of the scoreboard. If FP is not flashing, the machine will not start by pushing the boot button. Programming buttons are located along the bottom edge of the main circuit board. SW1 is the programming button used to enter and exit, or save, all the options. SW2 is the select button used to change the option number shown in time display. SW3 is called the step button because it allows you to change the values within a desired option. Pressing SW1 will enter you into option 1, coins per credit. Use the step button to make sure option 1 is set to 0. The option number appears in the time display while the value for the option is on the right of the shot time goal display. Option 4 is commonly used option, time per period. This allows the user to set the actual game length. Default to 60 seconds per period. By pressing the step button, it can be advanced to 95 seconds per period. This is the maximum time the game can be set, which results in a minimum 4 minutes 45 seconds gameplay. However, most games will end up being longer than 5 minutes due to the last puck and play mode. Option number 6 is the National Anthem. The default value of 0 plays the Star Spangled Banner, while a setting of 1 plays O Canada. Option 8 is the setting for the Attract Mode Interval. This controls the amount of time between audio sounds while the game is not being played. The setting is 0 to 30 minutes. Option 9, Puck Eject Strength, adjustable from 5 to 15. This controls how high the puck ejects during face-offs. 